In partnership with Guinness, we have been able, over the course of the last year, to open three Sal's Shoes shops in existing community spaces in Crewe, Hackney and Salford, where families, via referral, can enjoy the experience of shoe shopping and choosing their own shoes without having to pay for their purchases. One in ten UK families go further into debt, kitting out their children for school. Our ongoing partnership with the Rio Ferdinand Foundation continues to provide opportunities for young people. The Rio Ferdinand Foundation is all about supporting young people to reach their full potential in life and I am excited to announce we are working with the Guinness Partnership to deliver an employability and skills programme in London and in Manchester over the next two years. The project is supported by the Guinness Partnership and their contractors Keir, Waits and Equans will help young people who aren't in employment, training or education to overcome barriers, boost confidence, build skills and develop new networks. At Southern Housing we offer two different grant streams, one being the Making Communities Better Fund which funds larger projects to organisations to support projects that benefit our residents and communities. It's amazing that Southern Housing have been giving grants to residents over the years. The money that uh, residents receive can mean that they can create a space like gardens or can improve their green spaces which brings the community together. So now here in Charter House they've got a space where all the residents can get together, they can garden which has proved to be really good for mental health and well-being but also brings all of the residents, all ages and abilities together. I'm a Optiva resident um, and this one fly came through um, saying have you got a bright idea would you like to start a new business and next thing I know off I was gone on my new adventure. Now, I have a hearing impairment and four years ago I was told it's very likely that my hearing will deteriorate and become non-existent. Music was a therapy for me at the time as I was going through depression then it just dawned upon me that there was actually a gap um, and yeah, song signing was then created. Basically people come to me to um, learn sign language but using the power of music. We are an award-winning song signing choir that has performed for royalty and have been to Buckingham Palace and there's nothing stopping us now. Without that course I wouldn't be where I am now, personally and professionally. Myself and my family decided to start the Jason Roberts Foundation as a way to give something back to the community. Sport and football gave me an identity and I wanted to be somewhat of a role model for my community. So that's why the foundation was about having something more sustainable and the opportunity to have this facility funded by the Football Foundation was a really important part of me having the chance to use football and sport as a social vehicle for, for change. Since we started this group, a message that we continuously get is how much it's helped people's mental health. Any, any sort of worries or stresses that you have, you're not thinking about that. That's it's the only, it's like a one hour of like pure bliss where you're just in a really healthy environment with people who are there to support you and encourage you. Because of the cost of living, most of the residents are finding it difficult even to take three course meal a day. So we've decided as a team to provide them some lunch so that at least they will be able to have something to eat, come here and to warm themselves up and to be able to release or cut some of their bills because a lot of people are struggling. So what we're making is stuffed peppers. Wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna get a full top shot. Roast carrots 
and parsnips. And everybody's favourite, roast potatoes. Amazing, good stuff. And um, just one more question. Why do you do this? Oh, I just love it. I love cooking and I love meeting the people. And I make sure that I have time to come out of the kitchen and talk to people who come. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you like the food. <laughs> Look, we got thumbs up over there as well. Through my conversations with our customers, it was evident that they wanted an opportunity to meet up in person and socialise with their neighbours. We want to inspire people who live in our communities to be the start of something new or to develop a project that they are already involved in. To kickstart the ideas, we organised this afternoon tea event to encourage customers to get involved in current services or to set up their own clubs in the community with the support from us. I found the event very nice today. We've met a lot of people. It's been amazing because I'm meeting new people and it's been wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I'm full of ideas. It's been fantastic. I have met other people. I'm not sitting indoors looking at four brick walls. If this organisation stops that we cannot meet like this once a month, I will be so depressed. I don't think I'll be here. I am really grateful.